Okay, uh, welcome back to Dwarf Fortress, and in this episode, I am going to showcase the main thing I've been working on so far, and the area of our fortress that will probably be the most vital uh, in the entire thing. Now, uh, before we get to showcasing that, however, let's just take a look at the fortress at current. Um... I don't think all that much stuff has happened up here since the last video. Uh, we still have water ready to be released into our aquifer area. Got a side tunnel going around the edges there so the dwarves can enter and exit as they please through the service area. Uh, I will be putting in, as someone suggested, some grates into the uh, swimming pool area or bathhouse area of the fortress so that the the fish who will inevitably be coming down through this water into our fortress uh, don't have the ability to come through. Right now however there aren't any fish in the current water that we have so no issue on that front at the moment. Um, let's see what else. Um, I have got the metalsmith up and running here in the main area, telling him to forge some anvils. I don't think he's actually going to have the material to do it right now because I've still just been forging tons of coke out of the uh, smelters over here. So we're still waiting on that. And for all intents and purposes, this upper area of the fortress here is going to be abandoned as soon as I complete the project uh, that you're going to see right about now. So let's go to this stairwell area here. Uh, these stairwells pretty much just serve as like transit areas so far. Uh, they're probably going to continue in that role, but what you'll not see here is that right over here, where these like little chunks of calonite are in this corner, I have designated downward staircase, and that staircase leads to this floor. Oh wait, I guess I designated it right here. Uh, but in any case, it goes to this floor, and that leads to another staircase right here. So we go down another floor and uh what's this? Go through the stairs again, go up this hallway, more stairs going down there, but right here, this this area is going to form the basis of our entire new fortress area. Those down arrows that you see designated are channeled squares. What that means is the dwarves will go there and they won't just mine out the floor it's on, they'll mine out the floor it's on, and they'll mine out the floor below it. So, in other words, we're going to have a gigantic area that is kind of like suspended in the air. But the thing is, as you'll notice, there's a staircase there. It goes down, and you don't see anything on this floor yet because that the way I'm designating it. But uh, you go down farther, and you see there's starting to become structures here. And you see all the way... And this right here, this is not the bottom. This is actually the second floor because everything's designated in channeling. This will be floor one. That's floor two. Uh, and you can see I've started designating several buildings on the second floor here. Uh, and every single building down here will be freestanding. It will be a freestanding structure that is supported only by uh, its connection to the floor. Um, so you can see how that is going to create a more massive scale than pretty much anything else we've been working on. Now, while it may seem, you know, whatever, we're kind of going relatively simple here just by adding designs on multi-floor level, but the fact is, when you're designating this, you have to take into consideration not just the floor you're on, but what that's going to do on the next floor, because every single time you go up a floor, you have to you have to like undesignate areas so that the buildings remain the same. You have to designate new areas so that the uh, inside of the structure changes with the floor, and you have to make sure that this is all consistent uh, with the amount of space that's been given for the entire uh, like level. Uh, and you'll notice these two massive structures here. These are going to be our apartment buildings. This is where pretty much every dwarf is going to stay. Uh, It'll seat 20 dwarves per floor, except for the bottom floor in the penthouse. Uh, well, the penthouses, I guess there'll be a couple. And every room in here will have two cabinets, two coffers, and a bed. So that ought to be more than enough stuff to keep our dwarves happy. I'm also considering, well, not considering, I'm going to, 
uh, be putting in glass windows on pretty much every floor, every area, and every building in this in the freestanding structure area. Um, and the way this works is that on this undesignated part, I'm going to once they actually finish channeling it out, and it'll take a long, 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 long time to finish that. But uh, when they finish channeling it out, I'm going to create the lobby area on the first floor uh, and maybe put uh, the dwarf who is going to be the clerk uh, with a bedroom down there that will be slightly larger than the standard apartment buildings. Uh, but when you go on the first floor, there will be a staircase going up from this edge. And you see there's two there. Uh, and then you go down the hall. There's tons of rooms connecting to the hall. And at the end of the hall is a staircase going up. This pattern will be repeated and brought across this edge, and again that way, and again that way, and again that way, and again that way, and da 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 da, da until we get to this floor. And this floor is where we're going to start having penthouses, and then the top floor, this isn't actually the top floor, this will be uh, like the second to top floor. The top floor will be this right here, the, the roof, uh, but this will be like the Grand Master Suite, uh, and this will be for a dwarf who is very much favored but not exactly noble because I haven't even started on the nobles quarters uh, but you can see there's two of these buildings the way it works right now is we'll be able to have 40 dwarves per level there are 10 levels that'll allow us to have 400 dwarves more than I've even allowed the possibility for this fortress to have uh, so obviously we're gonna have excess room on the upper floors and once everyone gets situated I can probably turn the excess room into some nicer apartments for our dwarves uh, and give them out to special people. So that is how that is shaping up. We're going to have massive, massive apartment buildings. And around these apartment buildings are columns, and these columns stretch all the way to the uppermost part of this. So they are like, uh, like 10, 11 stories high, and they're incredibly, uh, well, they're going to get lend incredible support to the massive open air structure that we have down here. So that's always kind of cool. But the problem is to designate these columns, and this is the reason I'm not putting them everywhere in the freestanding area, uh, requires me to go up and each and every floor I have to designate the exact same pattern every single time. And that took forever. I mean, I have to go like, I have to hit the designate key, then I switch to the remove designation, and then I got to go enter, enter, and then move over, and then enter, enter, and then move over. And it's probably going to give me arthritis from doing all that, but... Uh, in any case, that took forever, so I'm not going to be doing that with every floor. Uh, but the cool thing is that, and I'll put this in a visualizer, probably a, a 3D one, and then I'll do stone sense as well, just to show what it looks like in 3D. And I've seen the regular fortress, what that looks like in 3D. It's pretty cool. Uh, but this will definitely look pretty amazing uh, when you can see the scale of the structures we have. And it's all underground, which means that we don't really have to worry about attack so much because the way I'm going to design the outermost perimeters of this area, this is kind of like the main hall, and this is all I've designated so far, but there's going to be several wings uh, to the to the lower floors. Uh, but this area here is all going to basically be uh, enclosed within the uppermost portion of a citadel, uh, and then as you go uh, lower and lower, the citadel expands outwards, and the, the entrance to all this will eventually be placed at the bottom of the citadel. And there's going to be an inner keep to the citadel where our government will be, will be positioned. That'll be uh, along this area. And you can't see it designated simply because uh, the way that digging all of this massive chamber out uh, is going to be done uh, requires the dwarves only go uh, like in a 3D scale for now. And the citadel will be in 3D, but I can't really give the orders to designate it because it's going to start on the floor actually below like the subfloor, the sub basement of uh of the, the main chamber because there's gonna be a moat as well as a bridge to get into the, the main keep of the citadel. Uh, but yeah, so this is the floor so far. We have on the left here, this is going to be uh, a craftsman's area. There will be uh six shops, six workshops per floor. Uh, there's gonna be sub basement with lots of stockpiles and then this can go up as many floors as I need it to. Right now I only have it going for one floor, but I'll obviously be increasing that. This is just for the purposes of this video. That's how tall it is. Uh, in the middle here, this structure is pretty cool. Uh, we have what's going to be kind of a restaurant, cafe, dining plaza. 
Uh, and it's different from the dining hall in that I'm not going to be just like setting up huge Viking style long tables with lots of chairs around them. It's going to be small individual tables with individual chairs placed in separate rooms and all designated as eating areas. So, and that'll be across multiple floors. And then we'll be also putting windows and the structures you can look out and see the fortress. But in any case, it'll be pretty cool because you'll have basically a skyscraper full of, uh, eating areas, and at the very top here, I'm going to designate it out uh, like a grand sort of cafe area where individually very wealthy dwarves uh, will be able to eat, and I'll designate it so that only they can eat there and not the commoners, uh, but that'll be really cool. And this is all going to be decked out with lots of uh, jewelry and statues and all that stuff, but I can't designate any of that right now because it's not even dug out yet. And in fact, this internal part of the structure, that's basically just to give an idea of what this is going to look like because the dwarves aren't going to be able to dig that out yet. Uh, this is just for the purposes of showing it on the video what it's kind of going to be looking like. Um, so yeah, this dining hall here is really, uh, I think it's a pretty cool idea and it kind of gets uh, thinner as you go up so there's going to be an overhang uh, at the top and then that'll kind of look over the entire, uh, the entire main concourse of the fortress. Uh, over here we have what's going to be the traders depot basically like this is the second floor this will be where our broker will be uh, getting a grand office across this entire floor uh, on the on the bottom floor on the sub well this is actually floor one but uh, this will be where the actual trade depot is located it won't be on the upper floor uh, and then of course we're gonna have massive walkways throughout this whole thing so that's what this looks like at the moment and uh, Okay, sorry about that, I had a little interruption. But yeah, that's uh, what I wanted to showcase this video, so that's what I'll be working on. And I will, uh, in the next video, probably have completed a lot of the upper portions of this. And uh, while this is being done, we'll have a lot of stuff happening on the surface as well. Uh, so, see you next time.